Okay, here we go for the landing. Coming in. Close enough. That's that's a good enough landing for me. Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here with another scrap mechanic episode. This is part three of our sky base community build. In the last video, I was designing stuff with Ryan and we came up with a really nice design as you can see here. We got this little room here that will extend off into more rooms where the um, commander can look out his windows and observe the base. But what we're actually going to do at the beginning of this video is we're actually going to build a helipad up on the roof. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get a helicopter on this episode because I am not the best helicopter designer. Um, they usually turn out really bad smashing into the ground and such. And last episode, I also requested you guys to name the base and... There was a lot of people suggesting Spy Base and Cake Base and Sky Cake, but I think Spy Base fits the best for our base here for now. Um, it looks pretty well. I actually got it pretty even, except the top. It doesn't look that even, but oh well, that doesn't really matter. Anyways, I think we're going to build the helipad off the side here. We're going to have a elevator or a staircase. I think we're going to use an elevator getting to the top of the base here. Now this is going to be the difficult part. I got to kind of redesign this piece here. So I'm just going to get rid of the windows and stuff. And then we're going to have to make the elevator. Now I don't know how big it needs to be really. We're going to do our best. All right, there we go. I think that's a decent size for the elevator's entrance. Now, um, I think we're going to just extend it out this way somehow without falling because <laughs> I have no way back up because <laughs> Ryan's not on currently. So I think actually we should start from one block lower so we can actually build the elevator's mechanics. Yo, that looks good. Awesome. Looks good. And now we need to build the elevator's lift thingy. So this is going to be tough. The problem with sky bases is you have to build everything in account for the bottom here. So elevators are pretty easy to make. The only thing that's tough about them is predicting how high you need these arms to go. Now it's 14 blocks up that I know of. So we're going to try seven. That's one there. That's seven. Now we need to get a controller out so it doesn't sloop like that. We'll put it right here because that's going to get covered up. We're going to hook that up right here. Add a bearing here. Another arm. Put that up to the controller. And we're going to have the lift stabilizing piece right here. I don't know what it's called really. Okay, we're going to test that out. I think we're going to try 90 degrees up. And I think this one goes negative 180. I haven't done elevators for a while since uh, the follow shelter videos. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, it's a little short, isn't it? Okay, how much higher do we need to go? There's a block up there too. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's good. So two on each arm. All right, it should work now. There you go. I think that's good. That's a good size. Let's test this out. Oh, no. Are you serious? All right. Are you serious? All right. So I got back up with a little bit of handy toilet work. I need a better way to get up here. So maybe the helipad is actually a good idea. Maybe we can get a helicopter. Maybe a few. I'm not sure. So this should work now, hopefully, without me dying. There we go. Now is it even? It is even! Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so now I need to get back down there. Are you serious? <laughs> that's the second time I fell. Okay, I'm back up once again. Now, um, hopefully that doesn't happen again, but we're just gonna kind of design the elevator room. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. I guess we gotta kind of account in for the back piece here, so it doesn't really collide with anything. Okay, yeah, that works pretty good. Now, what I need to do is I need to actually build a multi-button system. But first, I'm going to kind of make like a elevator shaft. 
Ooh, that, that would work very well, actually. I like the look of that. I've never actually used these blocks that much, but I think this looks pretty nice. We don't want it to be totally uh, closed off. We want it to kind of look unique. I think I like that. I changed my mind on the elevator. I think this looks pretty nice. Now we need to add some railings and stuff here. Um, now, I don't know how to really do railings. I'm just going to copy Ryan's idea over here. Oh, I see how he did it. That's a really good idea. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. There's the railings for the elevator shaft. They look pretty nice. I'm not sure what else we can add to the elevator shaft here. But now what we got to do is make the landing pad or the helipad. No, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that. Um, we might have to extend the side here a bit, but that's not a big problem. Um, there'll just be a little overhang on here. Um, yeah, and then we'll kind of design it like a little um, helipad similar to the ones in real life. That looks pretty nice. I added like a little overhang here. And it actually looks pretty nice down there as well. As you can see, I kind of like it how um, I have this support railing here. Anyways, we're going to go back up and start on the actual pad itself. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. We might have to have an elevated piece somewhere. Um, not sure. We're going to try our best to make a circle, <laughs> I guess. There we go. There is the helipad. It looks pretty nice, actually. Um, it's the best circle I could get. And I kind of added my own design to it. Now, I'm not sure if a really big helicopter could fit on this. I'm sure one could, but it's more so for smaller aircraft. So I built this crappy little aircraft here, and we're going to test out the helipad. Now, I don't know if this thing works very well. <laughs> I just built it. Got to get it around. I got to get it up there. That sucks. Oh, no. It doesn't look like it's working very good. Let's try that again. Okay, we're gonna get to the top. Go as high as we can before it starts spazzing out. We're about the height of our sky base there. How do I go forward? Oh no! <laughs> this ain't good. This ain't good. I think this this little aircraft needs some tweaking. All right, let's try this out again. I did a ton of tweaking and hopefully it works now. Now I gotta make sure I don't press any other buttons but three, four, and five. Because if I press two, my, my thing will turn into uh, jet mode and jet mode don't work yet. <laughs> okay, even out. Looks good. Now I just gotta move forward a bit. Okay, here we go for the landing. Coming in. Close enough. That's that's a good enough landing for me. Don't you guys think? There we go. We landed our um our really bad aircraft on the base. Kind of a bit of leg. I don't know why that is. There we go. We got our aircraft on the base. Looks pretty good. Uh, I might fix this up a bit, make the controls a little more easy. And then we're going to go back down here. One of the most suggested things you guys were suggesting in the comments was actually escape pods. Now, I'm not sure how I would do that, but we're actually going to have an escape pod in this room. I think we're going to have it on the other side of the wall over here, just to kind of give this place a little more uh, design so it's not as empty. Now, the commander, I guess, could escape if he really wanted to in case of emergencies. Now, I think we're going to make this escape pod one that launches that direction in a straight line, kind of, I guess. Um, we're going to probably make different variations of escape pods throughout the base eventually, uh, like droppers. A lot of people suggested the dropping ones that actually don't have much propulsion. Now, I think this one should have some type of propulsion just to get the higher ups out of the area. All right, so there's the escape pod. We're gonna test it pretty soon. We're gonna just 
cover this up and make it look like a escape pod bay. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that though. I'm not sure what escape pod bays really look like. Guess we could just do something like this. And then we can have a... Uh, I guess there's already doors on it. So I guess that works. So we can just kind of decorate this a little bit more. There we go. There's our escape pod bay. <laughs> it doesn't look the greatest. But if you guys have suggestions on improving it, please let me know. I actually like it. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty compact. And then you can just hop in and then you can just escape. Let's test it out. <laughs> it doesn't move. <laughs> it's broken. working <laughs> oh my god I'm actually flying so there we go <laughs> so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna actually somewhat get started on the next area for the sky base this is where the bedrooms and the kitchens and such is gonna go but we're not gonna get to those quite yet as I need suggestions from you guys what I should build in these rooms or what kind of rooms I should add. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. So let's uh, expand this out quite a bit. We're going to have it go off straight for now. It might curve out a bit later. I'm not sure how big these rooms really should be either. Well, look at that. That looks pretty sweet. Nice. I like that. That base looks pretty cool so far. Okay. Extend this out a bit more. And people are saying this base needs supports down below. Now, we might eventually add supports to this, but for now, we're just going to leave it like this because that takes a lot more work. We could add thrusters for aesthetic looks on the bottom of this to make it look like it's supported by um, thrusters, but I'm not quite sure. So we'll get to more room designing next episode, guys. So. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing, and remember, stay sweet, bye!